on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. 624 is the time. A diagnosis of heart failure does not have to mean life is over. At Baptist Health, there are many ways to treat heart failure. and One of those is called a HeartMate. Baptist Health cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis is here telling us more about what this technology is that obviously keeps you yeah. on amazing. Thank you so much Good for morning, man. joining us. I mean, I don't know what HeartMate is. We've talked a lot about yeah. new technology. I know this is something, something you guys have been utilizing over right. there. Right. So, you know, we often on this segment talk about how not to get heart disease sure. and preventive maintenance, and that's very important. But we also want to cover the entire spectrum. And so this involves the other end where we, we're talking about heart failure. And so we have a very robust heart failure team led by Dr. Steve Hutchins, John Ransom, Patrick Campbell, Kirthi Narasetti that do a fantastic job managing heart failure. So whether you've had a heart attack in the past and it's left you with heart damage or you've developed some kind of cardiomyopathy like we've talked about before and the pump is not working well, we have now technology that goes beyond just medicines. It's important to understand the way the heart works. It is a pump. It pumps oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. If there has been some kind of damage to the heart, as a rule, we can't give you horsepower back, mm. right, with medicine. We, we stabilize you, but we can't give you that horsepower back. Now we have technology that allows folks to then transition to a transplant, eventually, if okay. their motor's not working, yeah. right, with, with the HeartMate 3. The, the, the idea here is it, it, it augments the pump. It is, a, it is a standalone pump that is implanted surgically. It has a battery power, and then it helps to offload and assist the pumping function of the heart. It looks like what Tony Stark would wear. It, it does look like yeah. what Tony Stark would wear, and it's getting smaller and smaller. At Baptist, the workhorse uh, uh, device was the HeartMate 2. We've done over 250 of those at Baptist, and now now we have the HeartMate 3, which is smaller device, battery lasts longer, and we've done over 70 of these in the past two years. Baptist is the fourth largest implanter of this device in the country. Wow. So, yeah, it's a very robust program. And so this is, you know, th this is very advanced technology, but we cover not only all four corners of the state, mm -hmm. but also b beyond our scope as far as patients that come in. So it's not just for Central Arkansas. We'll have patients that will come from Jonesboro and Fayetteville and South Arkansas. Arkansas and outside of the state and 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 as the technology continues to grow the device would get smaller and smaller like sure. Tony Stark would do yeah right yeah. And, and and it's more and the next the next wave will have a battery that's internal not unlike a pacemaker okay so you don't have to have the external fanny pack battery wow fascinating stuff and and, and just to show we're, 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 we continue to be on the cutting edge at Baptist with with new technologies and and helping folks live longer in Arkansas keep on amazing that is what Baptist yeah. helps does and they will help you do that. Call the Baptist Health Health Line on your screen or go to Baptist-Health.com. Dr. Davis, great to see you. Thanks for coming in and explaining Absolutely. that. It's fascinating.